Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Matt. Today we are going to go to a Japanese sports Thor store. Thor. Uh, it's called Sports Depot, and it's like Sports Authority. I would say is the most similar American store. But we're gonna go ahead and check out Sports Depot. See how similar it is. See what they sell. And the last time I was here, I got some shoes there, and I really only had one choice of shoe because they didn't have many selections in my size. That being said, let's check out Sports Depot, the Japanese sports authority. All right, so here it is, guys, Sports Depot. And I'm not just coming here to show you guys. We actually need to come and pick up some stuff. So I figured since we're coming, it's a good opportunity to show you guys what a sports store actually looks like in Japan. So let's go inside and check it out. They do have some cool shoes here. Those are kind of cool. To be honest guys, there's really, I'm gonna try and find some unique things, but it's really not much different when it comes to stuff as far as like comparing it to a sports authority or one of those big stores like that. Japan's a big running culture. That's like the main source of exercise here. These aren't all for running, but you'll notice a lot of running gear here in Japan. I notice these square backpacks are getting really popular and I actually like this white one and yellow one. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of clothing here too, guys. Pretty much everywhere I look is mostly clothing, a lot of sports clothing. This is, uh, what is it called, badminton, this stuff? Badminton rackets. And then they have tennis rackets without the racket on it, so you can pick your frame. Mizuno is a really uh, popular brand. I think it's popular in America too, though. They have the same brands here. Wilson, got some pool equipment. Got a whole aisle dedicated to Crocs and sandals. Really more of a sports store, but they do have a little bit of exercise equipment. I guess is not unusual. Oh, this is kind of neat. Oh, interesting, that's an exercise thing. You grab it and it's you could fill it with different water amounts. That's kind of interesting. That's more of a Japanese thing, I think. Some really nice sunglasses here. So guys, I'm walking around here and it really is more of a clothing store. Look, you can see down the side of me, there's a ton. Look at, it's pretty much all sports clothing here. Uh, they do have some bikes. They do have basketballs and footballs and stuff like that, but it's not a huge selection. I feel like the great majority of the store is just clothing. Yeah, here's some of the sports stuff. We got some basketballs, uh, basketball bags. The same American brands are popular here. Here's, of course, a Hurley in cap. And there's Billabong, Roxy, uh, New Balance, Disney. The Under Armour video literally just has Japanese subtitles. The whole thing's in English, though. There is some pretty cool bikes here, though, I must say. Some of these look really small. Look at Giant, though. That one obviously doesn't look small. Our kids trying on new shoes. Yeah, they don't have the Brooks, but this is called On. Mm -hmm. and it's really popular with runners apparently, but it's Swiss engineering. It's ah. a Swiss brand shoes. And it's slowly starting to make its way to Japan four years ago. Hmm. And apparently, like he's wearing it too, he uses it for camping. Ah. But he said uh, it's starting to get really popular with runners and like athletes. Mm. And it's not too bad. Shoes look like. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> So you need some shoes. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think I need shoes. <laughs> but my mom thinks I need shoes. Oh, guys, you see these online, too. They have these pads you stick to your stomach, and then you get, like, an eight-pack. <laughs> anyway, guys, I don't know what to say. I actually tried kind of hard to find something uniquely Japanese in this store, and I can tell you that it's 
pretty similar to just an American sports store. If you put stripped away all the Japanese and put sports authority or something on the title, you probably wouldn't ever notice a difference. I mean, even all the brands are the same. We're probably imported. Anyway, guys, that's it. We were just here to buy Kit some shoes. She's been sporting those shoes with the holes in them for a few months now, and you know, it's uh, not ideal. So we had to go out, get these things, and I thought it was a good opportunity to show you guys this. So anyway, guys, if you wanna see more about Japan or Okinawa or anything like that, you like me or whatever, go ahead and thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.